Say hi, babies. Say hi, babies. You want to say good morning? <laughs> That's all he's been saying lately is good morning. And I'm like, look, dude, it's evening or afternoon. How's everybody doing? Y'all miss me? I miss you. Auntie misses you. I got lots on my mind today. No, but prayers for Haiti in Afghanistan. Just prayers for America, you guys. Prayers all over. You know, uh, we've been divided so long that now things are to the point where we have to look at ourselves. We just got to do it. And there comes a time when we all have to grow up or at least admit that we're being selfish. We're being very selfish. And when I say selfish, I mean that in a way bigly. I mean bigly, you guys, because we are very uh, privileged in America. We have been. And... For the past year, it's been like everything's racist, you know. But I hope that everybody had some time to, to take a look. Guys, it ain't even all about being racist. It's today, our younger generations are like, if you don't agree with me, if you don't like me, if you say anything that offends me, I don't like you. And I'll do everything I can to destroy you. Now that there, I invite stuff like that. Because I like for you to come at me. But at the same time, auntie doesn't like it. You know why? Because I see you're hurting. And I see you're hurting yourself more than you're even ever hurting me. You can't hurt me. I have hurt myself so much that you... I mean, if you do anything, it's like a kiss on the cheek. Like... Auntie, hmm. So, my point is, this being so offended, I and, and the reason why this has come to my mind, because I seen Lizzo, Lizzo, Lizard, whatever her name is, she was crying. And no, I didn't feel sorry for her. I really did not. Because every time she gets... You know, she's bipolar or something. You know, y'all know Auntie has mental illness too. Okay? But I notice every time she gets offended or hurt, she wants to blame it on fat shame. And Auntie's fat too, Lizzo. And this is the deal. This is the deal, Lizzo, that you have to ask yourself. Even though people say mean, hurtful, angry things. When you get angry at someone, what do you say, Lizzo? What do you say about people that you don't like? Whether they're fat, white, green, purple, whatever it is. People are not looking at what that part that they play in this, this, this whole charade. I remember growing up in high school. And we were reading Shakespeare, and I love Shakespeare because the world is just a stage, you guys. Everybody is actors and actresses, and auntie's like looking upside their head like, come again? Are you, are you serious? Are you seriously coming at me like that victim uh, you want to be? And so my word to Lizzo. You have more than enough money to get the mental health that you need. And then you need to get out there and you need to advocate. And you need to get healthy in your mind, Lizzo, in your body. Your mind, body, and soul. Nobody's telling you to love Jesus like I love Jesus. But it would be real nice because then we wouldn't have to listen to you crying. Okay? We would not have to see one of your videos of you saying, oh, they called me fat. Lizzo, you are bending your big behind over and you're twerking and spreading your butt all over this nation, Lizzo. Okay, Lizzo? 
So auntie is asking you to look at yourself, your behavior, and see what part do you play in people disrespecting you as not only a woman, but as an artist, Lizzo. Okay? So, another thing that, that just gets me, it just really, guys, this gets me, is I know everybody's priorities, everybody's priorities are different. They're different, okay? And it's okay, because that's, we can't all be the same. This is what I have been telling you guys when it came to us Trump people and you Democrats and Libertarians. I mean, come on, we're all human, okay? We need to respect one another. Even if you don't want to hear what I have to say, respect the hustle, okay? So where was I? Because I kind of got tangled up in that one here. And y'all know my head is tattered hell. It's tattered. The priorities. That's where Auntie was. I was up in the priorities, right? Get all up in them priorities. So Auntie's been in her bag because, you know, I live in Texas. And, and I'm like, okay, we got Sheila. And I ain't never seen Miss Thang in so many hospitals and in so so many districts and areas and it's just mind bottling because the last video I seen she had the nerve they they let in maybe 10 15 people into the uh, news conference and some of those people were not all black there might have been a few Hispanic people there and one person was I think they were Iranian or something and they wanted to speak and you know what she told them guys uh, uh I understand that you're there, but right now I'm dealing with uh people of color. Well, I know you're of color. I know you're of color. She said, I'm dealing with blacks and Hispanics. And I almost leaped. I mean leaped and I'm in Austin. Now grant you Sheila's in Houston, guys. Thank you, Lord. She's in Houston. It's about three hours three hours away and that woman runs the roost i mean she'd be like i bet you she get up like cock a doodle do get that jab that kind of nonsense right Ew. she had all these people in there and she is just it, 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 this is what i mean about people saying things out of their mouth all the time and in and, and they're hurt because somebody says something they didn't want to hear and they're offended and then they're so offended that they're going to do everything to destroy that person's character they're going to label them racist they're going to label them homophobes xenophobes all of that crap and i'm like look boy i tell y'all what man y'all lucky aunties in her mid 50s coming on out of the mid 50s I'll be 57 soon, and yeah, y'all know I be saying my age, because I'm like, say it loud. I'm a tattered head, and I'm proud. Say it loud. Auntie's tattered head, and she's proud. Okay, now let me get back to where I was. So, back to Sheila E. Auntie's thing with her. I have a big beef with Sheila Jackson Lee. I find her ratchet. Because she lives right here in Texas, and them borders have been open, and millions of illegal immigrants have come in here. And it's not just from Guatemala and Mexico or anything like that, dear guys. These people are coming in from China, Syria, Afghanistan, Jamaica, Africa, everywhere. And these people, they need help, and they need love, and they deserve this. But not at this time when our country is trying to take every right from every human being because of some pandemic. But yet and still, you want to let these people come in this country and pretend like it's nothing and we're supposed to do this? No, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to vote better. Sheila should have been retired a long time ago. That braid that come around that wig should have been gone. It should have been gone, y'all. Okay, so we're going to make this happen soon, I hope. 
I don't know if it'll be in this election. I mean, you got Sheila down there and Turner and all them there and her fear monger and with these masks on. Yes, the virus. I hate saying it. Yes, it's real. Look, it's real. But you know what else is real? God is real, y'all. He is real. And I'm going to tell you what else is real. Okay? We have picked up new hygiene habits. Yeah, where we always look at auntie's nails, y'all. Look at them nails. Shoot. Because I'm always washing my hands. So we know we need to keep things clean, right? We need to be like kosher clean. Because your health matters, okay? Sometimes I, I just lay around and I say, damn, I need to go ahead and catch this virus. Because I know if it was meant to be, if God wanted to take me and I caught that virus... And I didn't make it. It was my time, you guys. We cannot live in fear like this. We cannot have those babies masked up like this. Auntie has Chiari malformation, we all know. And so I need every ounce of oxygen. And I'm going to tell you guys why. I restrict my own breathing. A lot of times I breathe very faint. And I, I do it because of pain. I mean, if your head feels like it's about to go... Then you ease into a lot of things. Okay, you ease on in. And I didn't tell y'all the last time I've had heart surgery as a child. And when I started hearing about the heart and the clots and the this and the that. And you guys want to walk around here and think that people that aren't vaccinated should, should follow your lead. Because you did. I find you very selfish. I find you very uh, disturbing to even think that and uh, we need to pray for each other you guys and it's time to get together because this is crazy all of this is crazy and to the younger generation you don't have to like me you don't have to like what I say but when I'm dead and gone you will probably have a little bit of me a little bit of me the way that I think because you have lived as long as I have and then you have seen things that I've seen I'm not going by just age you guys because auntie learns from the homeless people when I go to the store and I roll down the window and give them a few dollars or whatever or whatever I'll ask them a question or how are you guys handling this coronavirus they're all alive they're all still here and it, and it just it just makes you wonder is this virus as, as harsh as they say it is? That is the question. And I think it's a question for every individual because it's according to your fear and your belief. Okay? I'm for the underdog. I'm always for the underdog. If you all... If, 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 if you the elites and everything else, I'm, I'm going the other way. I'm going to help somebody else. It's a hard knock life. I ain't trying to put on no errors or nothing. No, I love everybody. I don't care how dirty, nasty you look. Because hell, half the time I look crazy, dirty, nasty too. Because I don't feel like doing anything. But let me tell you this. This might, this might be some good news here. I'm actually working on getting back to seeing doctors because I don't like them. I don't trust them, any of them. And only be talking to me about the brain decompression surgery because, yes, I do need to have it done, but I don't want to. I don't trust any of them. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask God to help me do this here. Not the brain surgery. And I always say not the brain because I don't want to have it done, you guys. I think... February I'll be 57 do I do I really need to have this but I think that I really do because it affects me in in more ways than what you see in just this video it, it you know sometimes I can't even open up my eyes I can't open up my eyes my head is swollen and the CF the fluid is moving up in my head sometimes my eyes are so puffy I can't even open them yeah but this too shall pass because you know what keeps me going there are so many people that are worse off than I am so I can't be like oh Kiari got me yeah 
I have it. Yeah, going skippy. I got Kiari and I'm driving this. Look. <laughs> oh. Guys. I asking each and every one of you people that think that you know everything and it's your way or the highway. That is why we are here. And I mean here with everything. Our whole state of the union. And there's one more thing Auntie doesn't want to forget. America. A lot of our politicians up there in Congress that talk bad about this country, they disgrace this country. We don't ever need to vote in anyone that hates this country. And there's too many of them up there in Congress. And if they have all the hate in them, what makes you think they could do anything for us? To make this a better place for all of us I mean all of us because it's all about the kids right so I'm telling you we gonna have to be more responsible I don't care how you vote who you vote for whatever you do we all know our state of the Union is not a normal thing right now what we're going through it's all smoke and mirrors you know it's it's oof, oof. gives me the willies it really do because I'm like how did we get here but we're here so I guess this lesson is for all of us all of us even the ones that think they know what they know when they know it and how they know it okay you ain't know it because we here we are here and all I want is for us to unite and respect one another and stop with all the name calling and being offended oh they racist no they don't like you because they don't like you doesn't make them racist because of you walking around like oh man that even makes me sicker than hell this is the thing please look in that mirror okay look in that mirror my tattered head is telling you to look in that mirror and hopefully with auntie trying to work on getting doctors back into her uh, because then that means I have to come out of my comfort zone and I don't like it one bit looking up beside some doctor's head trying to play with me everybody knows I will research your face your whole face I will research it and then tell you I seen it before I even looked at it that's cuz I'm special y'all <laughs> I'm special than a mug so please, please, look at yourself and stop pointing fingers because you're beginning to look pretty pathetic. <laughs> now see, if I didn't laugh after I said pathetic, they'd be like, oh, she snapped. She going off. She going off. She going off on YouTube and Facebook. No, she ain't going off. She just telling you how she feel. Okay, baby. All right. Well, y'all have a good day. Give me a kiss. Pat her head out.